Hi everybody, this is Simon Ward. I'm back with my first update on the 100 Days to Kona training plan and it's been a bit of a roller coaster week so let me take you back through what's happened in those first 10 days. Um, it started off pretty well. Um, one of the things that's going to really get in my way both fitness wise and confidence wise for Kona is my running and in particular the lack of consistency in my running. You see, I do run I know it's a bit of a, a bit of a joke among my friends about how little running I do compared to how much swimming I do. Um, but that's generally because I get injured. And most of my injuries are confined to uh, my lower legs and specifically calf and Achilles. So I've been trying for a long time to work out exactly what the problem is. I've had a scan on both Achilles and there's nothing really structurally wrong with a little bit of... Um, uh, th th they're slightly thickened but, but nothing to worry about. Um, I wondered if it was ankle flexibility but both ankles are quite flexible and mobile and of late we've been wondering if it was a neural problem so I was getting pain coming down from my back perhaps caused by long-term degeneration of the lower spine from from years of activity um, so I went to see my physio Alison Rose recommended I go to see uh, Dr John Rogers over in Manchester very very swanky sports clinic near the uh, um, Manchester City football ground and I went to see him there he did uh, full examination lots of movement patterns and this and that and the other and he said no there's nothing wrong so that sparked off two emotions really the first was that I was happy that um, there was no long-term degeneration and it was more likely to be an issue with localized strength on the other hand I was very unhappy because if it had been a back problem from the uh, a nerve problem, I could have an injection like an epidural, which would have sort of papered over the cracks at least until I'd done Kona. So we don't want that actually. Um, Long-term degeneration of your spine is never a good thing. So I should be happy that it's just strength-related for my right ankle and my right calf specifically, and I can actually do something about it, albeit with a little bit of extra hard work. So that was the happy part. Um, so that what that means is that uh, my, my swimming's on track. I'm always there or thereabouts for my swimming. My biking, um, I'm really happy with the endurance, particularly after doing the Marmot recently um, and also the Flanders uh, event back in April. So I know my endurance is fine for riding 180k. I need to up my power a little bit and improve my power to weight by dropping a few kilos, but that's all going in the right direction. And now I've managed to string together pretty much six or seven months of running bar a couple of weeks where I've had some Achilles issues and knowing that a strength program is going to minimize the injuries maximize my running I'm much more confident about the outcome in Kona so that was how the week started off and the week also finished yesterday with me making my most recent visit to see Alison Rose where she actually didn't hurt the treatment didn't hurt as much as it has been uh, doing in past uh, visits and what she said was that I'm now in a maintenance phase with my body keeping it running nicely rather than having to fix some long-term tightnesses and and, um, and injuries uh, and lack, lack of uh, movement well, range of movement so that's good all good the downside to last week was the loss of a, a really good friend um, he'd been suffering with cancer for a while and um, he suddenly took a big downturn he ended his life in the way he would have liked, with a lot of friends around him all come to visit and passing away peacefully in his sleep. But it was still very emotional for everybody present, myself included. Um, he's been a good friend of mine for 30 years. And I can't pretend that it's not affected my sleep, my ability to think straight and my training. And to be quite honest, for a few days it uh, felt like triathlon wasn't a particularly high priority in my life. However... And, and so the reason I say that is not because I'm wanting sympathy from anybody. It's not. It's because I wanted to emphasise the fact that triathlon has to occupy a part of your life along with lots of other stuff. And sometimes those things take a priority and triathlon falls lower down the list. And no matter how tough you are or how tough you think you are, emotions have an effect on stress and those have an effect on your sleep and your ability to recover and therefore on your training. So um, hopefully we've put all that behind us now. Um, I'll have a clear run into Kona 
with no more emotional upsets and uh, and that'll be it okay that's all for now the next 10 days are going to be really important because it's before my upcoming america trip and i need to pile in some good training so i can have uh, a good bit of recovery while i'm away um, so in the next uh, video i will be updating you on exactly what training i've been doing and maybe give you an insight into some of the calf strength that i've got to do to uh, to improve the integrity of my achilles tendons all right thanks for watching please post comments below or questions if you have any and i'll be back next time with more updates bye for now